I want to just uh, bring a message which is more of uh, which serves more of a reminder to us of who we are, what we're doing, why we're doing what we're doing, what are we pursuing, and what is the direction in which we are going as a church community, as a body of believers. So in the New Testament, the Lord has given us a blueprint for His church, the spiritual church. And we take that and we say, you know, if that's the blueprint for the spiritual church, then that's the blueprint for the local church. We are working to develop us as a local church according to God's blueprints. There are 10 pictures of this blueprint that we see in scripture. So first, the body of Christ. The body means we are the expression of who Jesus is. He's the head we are the body. We represent Jesus on the earth. So important. Stay connected to the head. That's Jesus Christ. But as the body, it also the Bible also emphasizes this. That each one of us are members in the body. And every member has a place and has a function. We are the family of God. We've got to relate to one another. As brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers. There will be a season when you are dependent on being nurtured and cared for. But you need to outgrow that and become a young adult and become a father and a mother where now you are able to take care of other people. That's the family. Another picture of the church we see is the pillar of truth. That means we are the upholders of truth in our world and in our society. Another picture of the church is God's chosen people. It means that we are people who belong to Him, His kingdom. And so we live on earth, on foreign territory, but according to his values, cultures, and principles. We live according to kingdom values, kingdom culture, kingdom principles. Another picture of the church is that we are an army, which means we're engaged in conflict. And so we need to equip God's people, say, hey, these are your spiritual weapons. You need to stand up and fight the good fight of faith because the devil's not going to leave you alone. You may take a few knocks, but we are there to help you stand back on your feet and keep fighting because we are an army. We are the lampstand. We're the light in this world. We bring his light in this darkness so that people can know and see who our God is. We are the lamps stand. Jesus taught us that. He is the wine and we are the branches on the wine. So the life we live, we live based on our intimacy with God. Out of that intimacy with God comes everything. And so we emphasize abiding in Him because only out of that comes fruitfulness. So every time we think we as a church are being fruitful, we should get ready for some pruning so that we can become more fruitful. Pruning simply is cutting off what is unnecessary. We are also the temple of God, the dwelling place of God. And in His temple, He wants His glory to be manifest. That means who He is, His nature, His attributes, His works. We are a house of prayer and worship. Prayer and worship, two important things we need to grow in. But we are the bride. As the bride, we are engaged to Jesus. We are being prepared for Him, the bridegroom God. We have to equip every believer in the Word and in the Spirit. Who is going to do the work of the ministry? The saints. Don't get confused by that word ministry, because when you talk about ministry, we really think preaching and leading worship. That's not it. Ministry simply means acts of service. Doing, serving the Lord. Doing what God has called you to do. Your assignment. That's ministry. You know, every month we run weekend schools. And I encourage each one of you to attend these weekend schools several times. You're not going to get everything if you sit there just one time. So as we are equipping people, building the church up, what are we pursuing? We have one common pursuit, which is to host the presence of God and to manifest the glory of He's working in us to make us a people full of His, a glorious church. There's no spot, no wrinkle. And that's what He's working on us to do. Ultimately, we have one major desire, which is to impact our city, our nation, and the nations for Jesus Christ. Go impact cities, nations for Jesus Christ. Go make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.